Are there any hidden images or symbols in your pictures? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and in fact, it's a it's kind it's, of a a, became, a bit yeah. of a, a language that we built up from the films because we kind of had to fill so many uh, graphic props on the films with content that we ended up feeding in all sorts of little yeah. headlines, references to friends and family, even in the map, yeah. the Marauder's Map, I think. Shameless, my name is everywhere on the Daily Prophet and Mira's name is everywhere on the Marauder's Map. So. But as you said, it's <laughs> hid, often it's those hidden, things yeah. are hidden and maybe in symbols as well. And um, But we, we soon learned that it's, kind, it's a device that's enjoyed and appreciated by the readers. So we, we, we decided on the books that obviously there's going to be much more control over the reader to, to find those things. So the, we start with the, the cover frame and on the first book as well, we built an architectural uh, shape that could be filled with, um, with devices mm -hmm. and Easter egg um, motifs. And, and then when you go in, into the chapters, they themselves also will have, so all the chapter openers will have little opportunities in the architecture to to hide motifs that are relevant to that chapter. So here, well, there's a diary there and the spider. Um, spiders, there are too many spiders in this book actually, yeah. So I, I don't think we'll focus on that. <laughs> what does the illustration process look like? It's actually very formal. You have to be quite... Um, quite structured in um, both to meet your deadlines but and also just to respect uh, the 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 structure of yes. a book and so that you have to stick to the amount of pages that have that we've committed to with the publisher um, it's completely different from designing a book for films where you can just have um, any materials any page length any content to, to an extent so it's a much more organized process that starts with Eduardo doing what we call a book map, yeah. um, where you'll figure out where the I where the illustrations the, the first decisions of where the the illustrations should be and 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 how they should flow and of course and after we share with the team and with Scholastic as well and if everyone's happy is where we start getting them the pencil yeah. and the paper and of course and... before we started Philosopher's Stone that was when we. That probably was the the longest process because we there were all sorts of things to establish, yes. like the character um, looks of the characters. The, of course, the illustration yeah. style as well, which may seem like it's a natural evolution of our studio style, but it still needed to be kind of yeah. um, decided, f formed, and and uh, I don't know, like planting a garden or something. It was just like this choice of different mm -hmm. colors and shapes and things that. Um, we knew that we needed to sit with and live with for, for that first and second book. The next question is, where do you get your inspiration from? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for any creative person, I think anything can be you know, an inspiration, but we do have a great passion for books. And uh, since the day, I, the first day I met Mira, we were like geeking out about books. Uh, and books like can be books about anything, or sometimes it's book because of the book itself, you know, about mm. the, the binding and how the book was printed. And so our first, I think our first kind of point of inspiration is going back into In our own library, and, yeah. yeah. And and I think if you are doing this yourself as a designer, you it, it never feel that you have to buy a book that's related to the current project you're on. Yeah. I think if you just feel inspired and motivated to buy a book because um, it, because it has something in it that makes you tick, then I assure you, if you put if you buy it and put it aside, it will have its moment later. Yes. And we have sometimes some really it, strange books upstairs. Sometimes so. it takes like a few years for for yes. that book to have their moment, but all the books that we have in our library, they have their moment. Isn't yeah, that and and to? these are books that are largely about specific strange things, like we might have a book about ribbons or about um, match boxes or um, architecture. And, yeah. yeah, so I think they're things that are related to the design that we do and very rarely about specifically yeah. about say graphic design or illustration. How long on average does it take to illustrate one of the Harry Potter book pages? Oh, we'd have to do some math, but I think <laughs> I, knowing that it takes roughly a year of backwards and forwards from that initial first ideas to um, approvals oh, yeah. and with the publisher and 
um, it, I think it's about probably a, a, a pretty much a year to create the whole book. Um, how many pages are they? Can do some maths. Yeah, no, I, I, but I would. Yeah, I would think that would take like maybe if it's a full page, like a full page illustration, it might take a week to do that, and uh, small ones might be a bit quicker. But it's, it, it depends. I think if we already establish a, a character and a location mm. of like a classroom, maybe it goes a bit quicker. But uh, yes, but I think when it's establishing a new thing, is yeah, there... and you don't always get it right the first time, yes. so it's quite a lot of head scratching and backwards <laughs> and forwards. And every you know, there's different um, opinions about how things should be. But we definitely work as a team and and value the sort of input that we get from from. The rest of the team as well. Who... It's, a, it's a longer process because everyone that works at the Admin Illumina, we are all very, not they all Harry Potter geeks, isn't it? They all, so we all kind of, we really love to be, to, to discuss about the one little moment or about an illustration. So sometimes even the discussions can take a few hours because mm. we all get excited and, and happy to be designing that moment in the book. Head over to the Scholastic channels for the fourth and final part of our Q and A.